The uh, topic for discussion today is the development of uh, formulations to describe mixture diffusion based on uh, the tenets of the theory of irreversible thermodynamics, also termed non-equilibrium thermodynamics. I have here uh, portraits of uh, four of the giants in the field of irreversible thermodynamics. Lars Onsager, who in a seminal paper in 1945 wrote, the theory of liquid diffusion is relatively undeveloped. It is a striking symptom of the common ignorance in this field that not one of the phenomenological schemes which are fit to describe the general case of diffusion is widely known. Sebren de Groot, Professor of Theoretical Physics at the University of Amsterdam, is the author of uh, the famous textbook titled uh, Non-Equilibrium Thermodynamics. Edward Lightfoot, most known for his uh, textbook on transport phenomena, co-authored with Robert Baron Bird and uh, Warren Stewart. His uh, development of uh, the diffusion formulations based on uh, the theory of irreversible thermodynamics is uh, very well described in his textbook, Transport Phenomena and Living Systems. George Lennell Standart published a series of papers on uh, irreversible thermodynamics in chemical engineering science. Of particular interest is uh, this paper published in 1979 that I shall uh, use in um, the subsequent slides. Most of the material that I present here is contained in this paper published in Chemical Engineering Science in 2019. In particular, the derivations are provided in the uh, supplementary material accompanying this publication. It would be amiss not to mention um, the important contributions of Clifford Ambrose Trusdell and his uh, various criticisms of um, the theory of irreversible thermodynamics. And um, for any serious researcher on um, the uh, fundamentals of diffusion, I would recommend reading his uh, classic work in textbook form, Rational Thermodynamics, published by McGraw-Hill in 1969. For n-component uh, diffusion, the expression for the rate of entropy production sigma is the sum of the product of uh, driving forces and fluxes. Both driving forces and fluxes are written in, in mass units. Mu sub i with a tilde over it is the specific chemical potential in units of uh, joules per kilogram of uh, species i. F sub i with a tilde over it is the body force acting per mass of species i. T is the temperature. J sub i is the mass diffusion flux, which is equal to the mass density of species i times the difference in the diff diffusing velocity of species i and the mass average mixture velocity v. We have the uh, conservation of linear momentum that uh, is written in this form where we have uh, the gradient of pressure, the uh, summation over the uh, body forces, and they are balanced by um, this term here where tau is the uh, stress tensor. 
In the practice, mechanical equilibrium is attained far more quickly than the thermodynamic equilibrium and a good approximation is to assert that the pressure gradient is balanced by the uh, external body forces. So this expression for the uh, rate of entropy production can be uh, modified by adding this term here, which is essentially zero in view of uh, the assumption of uh, mechanical equilibrium. And we proceed further with uh, using this expression for the rate of entropy production to relate the driving forces to the uh, mass diffusion fluxes. We uh, carry on from the uh, expression for the rate of entropy production that was uh, derived in the previous slide. And uh, in proceeding further, it is convenient to do two things. Firstly, we uh, change to uh, molar units in place of um, mass units and replace the uh, specific chemical potential by the molar chemical potential and also define uh, a driving force di in, the, in this manner. This is just rewriting this part of uh, the expression for the uh, rate of entropy production. In uh, molar units, we have um, xi, the uh, mole fraction, divided by RT times the uh, isothermal, isobaric gradient of the molar chemical potential, plus a term that includes the pressure gradient. And that term is uh, a product of two terms, where Ct is the uh, molar density of the mixture, R is the gas constant, T is the temperature. This is the uh, molar concentration of species I, and uh, V sub I with a bar over it is the uh, partial molar volume of component I. The product of Ci times the uh, partial molar volume is the volume fraction. This part of the uh, expression for the generalized driving force contains uh, external uh, forces, could be uh, electrostatic uh, potential gradients, It is uh, clear that uh, the pressure gradients applied to mixtures will cause uh, relative motion only if there is a difference between uh, the volume fraction and the mass fraction of uh, component I. And that is indeed the case in the ultra centrifugation process for uh, separation of uranium isotopes that is employed on a vast scale, vast scale in um, the nuclear industry. In um, simple physical interpretation of this driving force is provided by this term here, if we multiply d sub i with the molar concentration of the mixture times r times t, then we have uh, the expression for um, we have the force 
that the x per unit volume of solution tending to move species i relative to the mixture the units of um, ctrt di is uh, newtons per cubic meter with this definition of di we can recast the expression for the rate of entropy production in this form the dot product of di times ui minus uh, the mass average reference velocity the rate of entropy production does not depend on the uh, choice of the uh, reference velocity v indeed if we replace v by uh, the molar average reference velocity the rate of entropy production remains um, the same and uh, sigma is then re rewritten as the sum of uh, the driving forces and uh, the product of the driving forces and the molar diffusion fluxes now we have uh, two different approaches to setting up the uh, diffusion formulations we can postulate that uh, the molar diffusion fluxes are linearly dependent on the uh, driving forces and then we uh, obtain the uh, Onsager, the Grote and Mazur formulations for uh, the irreversible thermodynamics of diffusion. In the other approach, which I prefer, the uh, driving forces di are expressed as uh, linearly dependent on the uh, differences in the velocities between i and j with the definition of the uh, maxwell stefan diffusivity for ij the persuasive advantage of the uh, maxwell stefan formulation is that uh, this pair diffusivity dij for the ij pair does not depend on uh, which of these driving forces is uh, operative indeed adding pressure gradients to the system will not alter, alter the uh, pair diffusivity if we have electrostatic potential gradients also causing um, motion of ionic species the addition of electrostatic uh, potential gradients does not alter the maxwell stefan diffusivity for the ij pair conversely in the onsaga the Grote and mazur formulation each time you uh, add a driving force the uh, phenomenological coefficients are altered they are also altered by the choice of the reference velocity frame. In the generalized Maxwell-Stefan formulation, these paired diffusivities are independent of the choice of the reference velocity frame because they are defined as uh, differences in the velocity of species i with respect to the velocity of transport of species j. Further discussions on uh, the Maxwell Stefan formulation is available in uh, my uh, publication in Chemical Engineering Science 2019, and also the video presentation on uphill diffusion, what drives diffusion on my YouTube channel.